All right, what's up, boys? Back for episode eight of the GameCast. That's Corey, that's Nate, that's Randall, I am Drew. Each and every week, we seem to get this thing on the road and get together, and we talk about <laughs> everything we love in the world of video games, found by all of you, thanks to Steve, the man behind the camera. He puts us all together, puts it out there on SoundCloud and every other audio podcast service around the globe. So, boys, how was the weekend? Fantastic. It was a good weekend. It was good. No complaints. Quiet. Corey, what did you do on the weekend? Uh, what did I do? I played some Fortnite. Uh, sure. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, uh, no, honestly, it was just uh, a pretty pretty relaxed weekend. I didn't do a, a too, too much. I had a, a get-together with some friends on Saturday night. That was a good time. And then nice. uh, watched some football on Sunday. It was good. Cool. Yeah, man. That sounds like a good time. Well, how about you, Nate? I didn't really do much either. On Friday, me and Daniela just kind of took it easy, watched a couple movies. Saturday, I just kind of vegged out. And then Saturday night, we we gamed. I got hammered by myself. <laughs> 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 and they shot, boom. They're like, man, you're alone, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, not technically. I'm on here with you guys. Like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> We're hanging out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyways, that was that. And Sunday was editing. So, was, Oh, man. Was it ever? No. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Randall? It was quiet. Everybody in my house was sick except for me on oh, Saturday. Wow, eh? So I had a lot of no, I was too busy taking care of people. <laughs> yeah, he's playing doctor. Yeah. And then uh Sunday we had uh Friends Christmas, which is a tradition our friends and us get together and I we saw the picture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and then Yeah, the only game I got got done was uh, a couple of things of PUBG because I wanted to kill something. (laughs) (laughs) And then uh, some hating. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. So here's here's a question because I saw this picture and for those who are listening and not actually able to see us, the picture was Randall with a bunch of feet with Christmas socks and some of them were fingered socks and some of them were not. So... (laughs) It's Can not you? a fetish thing, I swear to God. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do the fingered socks thing. They gotta be a complete. <laughs> Anybody else for those socks? I actually, can't say I take them for a ride very often. They're no. comfortable. They're very. Actually, my roommate he has the weirdest shoes. It's the same thing. It's a shoe in each individual. Oh, not has a it. chance, really? <laughs> oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Can't do it. I can't do that. Yeah. But to explain, so what we do is every year we do a secret Santa. So we all buy like a like a ten dollar gift. Yeah. And with that gift comes a pair of Christmas socks. It's kind of like a nice. it's like, a, like a gag. Have you ever cool. seen Mr. Bean's Christmas? You'll totally understand yeah. the reference. But um, <laughs> yeah, so this year I was the recipient of a book called Does It Fart? The Field Guide to Animal Flatulence. And just in case you're wondering, <laughs> octopi? No. <laughs> Oh, Spiders, oh. maybe they're not sure. <laughs> Everything else, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just save you the read. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Crap, I was going to pick that one up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Thanks, man. Uh, nice. uh, everybody's Indigo wish list. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what about awesome. you, man? Uh, I had the boys on the weekend. They met the girlfriend. It was a good weekend. Nice. So, yeah, yeah they, everybody hit it off. We had a good time. We went sliding down their school yard there. It was all covered in ice, so we were up and sliding on that. We went skating. Austin had his last basketball thing on the weekend, too. It was good. They won. Dude, they won. It was oh, they won? 32 nice. to 12. Oh, wow. oh, oh yeah, they crushed them. I was like, So they had a practice. Oh, I, it was. I was like, wow. <laughs> good, good job, guys. Good job. It's <laughs> so, not a game. It's a slaughter. Right yeah, now. we did that. We did a bunch of gaming course hung out with the girlfriend right that's always a given so yeah it was it was a good weekend man that sounds nice. sweet yeah it was a ton nice. of fun yeah. yeah you got your third tattoo done too i yeah. did my third tattoo today. come see this guy so <laughs> yeah i've been uh shockingly busy for just opening up the shop so it was i don't know it's good it's comfortable it's getting more comfortable i guess with the tattoo machine than i expected to be already but yeah things are going well and that's I'm, good man yeah, yeah dude People are happy. That's the biggest thing is when someone comes in and, man, if I screw up that tattoo, you're, you're going to have that for a long yeah. time. Uh, so, right? But, yeah, so far, it's kind of it's gone well. Everybody seems to be happy, so I can't really complain. That's yeah. awesome, I could man. show my tattoo, but we might not be able to. Yeah. The one that you did. I didn't know. No, we'll keep that one. Yeah. Zip up those pants. <laughs> SFW, folks. <laughs> not safe for work. Well, it was a good run while it lasted. Yeah, yeah that's it. So we're... <laughs> All right. Why don't we get into what is out this week? We normally cover the news here, but we've kind of got a big topic of the show. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to skip that this week, and we'll hit it up. Check us out on our TV show. 
And if you don't have Rogers TV, you can always find our show each and every week on InsideTheGame.ca. There we will have our show posted, ready to go over on YouTube and Facebook as well. YouTube usual. Yeah. Twitter, everything, social media outlet we kind of go on, right? <laughs> it's the same old thing. But yeah, so we're skipping the news. Catch that on the show this week. But let's get into what's out this week. There's a fair amount of stuff dropping this week like there seems to be. Surprisingly, though, it is Christmas, so it's not a ton of stuff. No, no. it's and it's not as, I wouldn't say, blockbuster oh, yeah. no, names. Right. I mean, Guacamelee 2 is in there. Yeah, um, it is. But we're, you know, we're not talking... That uh, seems to be about it. Huge, huge. Right? Huge. Book yeah. of Demons is there. I noticed that one. Yeah. Is Insurgency. Sandstorm is cool. Coming on December 12th. That's for PC. Desert Child, PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. So Everspace? I mean, that's pretty cool for the Everspace Switch. Everspace is cool for the Switch. Yeah. I was looking at that, too, Kurt. But we already have it on the Xbox. <laughs> but we played a ton of that, too, right? It was a blast. So if you only have a Switch, it might be worth I picking would, it up. Yeah. Yeah, I recommend it. I feel like that's a, be a really cool game just to have. On the go, on the fly, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, so bad. It's terrible. <laughs> there is, there is a couple other titles though, like Forza Horizon Four, Fortune Island expansion. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Yeah. So that's that'll be that. Oh, that you could say that would highlight that list. I would yeah. think so. That and if you have the PlayStation VR, you got Borderlands Two VR. That'd be cool. That's cool. Right. Uh, okay. Let's. I'm going to jump into what I've been playing because I jumped yeah. in to that VR mobile that I was telling you about last oh, week. Oh, yeah. I lasted five minutes before I got motion <laughs> six and bounced. So I was like, oh, no, I couldn't do it. Damn. It was cool, though, because, uh, man, the minute I started, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is all. Oh, because you were right down on the ground again, right? I'm back into my Paragon feel of no, okay. here I am. I'm grounded. I'm not way up above looking down over and trying to mouse and keyboard my way around things. I'm down there with the controller. Shifting stuff around, but the minute you move, like you just swipe the analog stick, your right analog stick, and it moves in quarters, right? So it's so janky. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, that would be right? tough. Because, Hard on the move. eyes. Oh, well, he did that, yeah. and then you're trying to move forward, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> 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 off it comes. Uh, I gotta sit down. I gotta <laughs> sit down. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. But yeah, there's a little sneak peek of what I was playing because that lasted a whole five minutes. <laughs> but so I'm now. I'm curious because Borderlands Two. Love those games. First person shooter. That's a lot of shit going on at you coming at once. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a lot going so, on in that game. I'm curious to see how that's gonna be in VR. Yeah. All the dogs, yeah. Ooh. Right, like that'd be chaos. I wonder if you're yeah. stationary because I haven't looked too much into it, but I wonder if you're stationary and you just bounce like Doom kind of. Right? Exactly, oh. right, where you kind of teleport your way around the map and stuff like that. I like it better when they don't when you do these quarter turns. It's so hard to kind of get your bearings back. Yeah. Because you're just shifting. All of a sudden, you're just jerking around. Yeah. Where in other games, like if you just kind of look and you pan around, you're kind of good to go, right? It's a little more, it feels a little more natural, right? Yeah. yeah. It feels much more natural than this little quarter jank. And I'm like, oh my God, man, playing that thing, I couldn't, couldn't do it this morning. <laughs> yeah. I was playing, I tried it out this morning. I'm like, oh yeah, I got to play that before we get done here tonight. And I was like, oh, five minutes. <laughs> oh, forgot that thing. Anything else? Oh. You know what else is on the bottom of this list? Finally, below below is arrived. So this has been announced. This was announced five years ago, right? <laughs> so everybody's like, "Where's below? Where's below?" And it, all of a sudden, we're just dragging along, and poof, here it is. December fourteenth launches for PC, Xbox One, also on Game Pass for Xbox. Oh, cool! Oh, nice! Yes, it's only a buck right now. Man, yeah. I picked it up. I did, honestly, I think I'm gonna stick with it because there's a lot of sweet ass games on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a ton of stuff. They're expanding the library already, yeah. which is nice. They've done a lot of stuff to that Xbox Game Pass it for ten dollars every month. To me, is no. really worth it. And obviously, we play a ton of games, but I'm still gonna keep it running because there's always something new. Like Ashen just came out. Below is now there as well. Yeah. And mind you, we get a lot of these things, but for the ones we don't get, if they go right on there. Game Pass, that's sweet, right? <laughs> oh, Holy yeah. crap, man! Yeah. And my kid's on it, too, so we're able to connect and play. And That's sweet. What about Atlas? See, okay. I know it's not your style of game, but it's that not. game looks pretty cool, man. All right, so why don't you explain to everybody what Atlas yeah. is? Yeah. yeah, so to me, from the trailer, it kind of looks like a Ark meets Sea of Thieves kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the servers are 1,200 times the size of Ark servers. From the same team that made Ark. Oh, that I didn't know. Mm. 
I'm almost positive it's the same guys who made art oh. has now gone on to make make Atlas. And that's why they said it's twelve times the size of twelve hundred. Tw- sorry, twelve hundred times the size of Ark because <laughs> that's wild. It's yeah. the same team. I can't remember how many players you can have in a server, but it's like a ridiculous amount. But man, it looks really cool. Like, there's these Titans and Goliaths and all these things, and you just have there has like a screenshot where there's like nine galleons per se. Yeah. Or just big ships all attacking this <laughs> kraken. Oh, I just it I'm looks like, pretty wild. Oh, uh, I mean. Ark, I love taming. That was kind of like you know the dinosaur thing. That's where Ark really got me. Chill out part where you just kind of zone in and feed the animals. Just sit there, and keep them coming. Oh, yeah. Make sure a raptor doesn't eat your freaking team. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, man. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it looks really cool. I, I definitely suggest you check out the. I'm gonna have to check out the trailer. I didn't even yeah. know what that game was. No. Either did I until the game awards. Oh, I was man. like completely blown away. The nice. little hidden gem on here is Omen Sight, Definitive Edition for the Switch. Okay. All right. It's this cartoon esque feel, almost like a Disney World, Disney, uh, Disney movie kind of feel. And you're this hero that goes out to kind of save over the world, but you take both sides of the story Ooh. and stuff. It's fantastic. We're reviewing it actually very soon. Cool. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. So we have it on the PS4, but this one's coming to this. It's also on the Switch now. Just dropped on the Switch. But yeah, the Omen Sight was. Phenomenal. Hmm. I played that. So, really cool. Actually, you know what? Uh, now that we've kind of broken down this list, there's actually a lot of games. It's not a bad <laughs> list, really, to be nice honest, right? Just before the holidays. No, it's to just see this week, dropping. too, right? Yeah. yeah. It's great. Right? And, of course, Smash just came out. Yeah. So, everybody yeah. wants to say clear yeah. Smash. Yeah. But, yeah, that'll be, a g- <laughs> it'll be good this week, boys. <laughs> <laughs> First W. Let's go. Oh, yeah. They still <laughs> fighting for that thing. Nah, it's still happening. Wow. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not. So <laughs> All right, why don't we move on to what we've been playing? Who's first? I'll go. Randall. <laughs> <laughs> so as I said, I didn't really get a chance by anything. Like I played some PUBG and I played uh, some more Heyday. But my laugh of the my weekend was on Sunday. My son was feeling better. So I get a dad. Yeah, from his room. He was up, they have a uh, Nintendo Wii and an Xbox 360 in their room. Okay. Right? So I come up and he's like, I need help with something. What's what's going on? He's playing Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past on the Wii. Nice. And he's stuck at the part Sweet. where he had to give the mushroom to the the witch in the forest, right? Yeah, you're beyond me because I haven't played any of these Zelda games except for the last so one. So Switch. He's like, "How <laughs> do I give it to her?" I'm like, "You press a button." Oh, seriously? Yeah, like it just like, it, but it it's That's so a funny. Like failed moment, right like, there, isn't like it? no, it's it's it's, 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 it's a millennial <laughs> fail actually. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> like when it comes to retro games, they just don't get it. Like, cause he'll like I tried to introduce him, like to Mario Brothers, yeah, and he could understand the concept of you have to jump over the pit, <laughs> not run into it. You have to jump over the bad guys or jump on them and kill them. He just. But he, <laughs> could, he could snipe everybody in the map in Call of Duty, but he can't. <laughs> jump on his pit, so. He's quick scoping everybody. Oh yeah, yeah. He's thirty respawn. Thirty K. <laughs> That's awesome. It's great. Um, so other than that, it was just yeah. But it's been in quiet. How about you? Uh, not a whole lot. I actually got some for honor in. Nice, nice. yeah. Nice. Oh, that How's that feeling? Sick. Oh, it's so good. They had a double XP weekend, so oh, I was able cool. to get some stuff. Nice. You got the new characters yet? No, I went to Boxing Day. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I, I'm like whatever. I'm gonna buy it. I freaking love this game. So <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so I was playing that Rainbow Six, of course. That's those are my two go-to games that's right what now. We do. Oh, Rainbow Six is so much Rainbow Well, and we got the new operators too, right? Yeah. So we got Cade, and we got Nomad, Nomad, right? Well, okay, let's talk about those new operators. Yeah. Right? So Ubisoft, once again, thanks. Thank you for sending us the code for the operators. What do you think of Cade and his... So his ability is this kind of like sticky grenade that electrifies everything. Yeah, it's kind of like a a bandit launcher. That's kind of the way I look at it. No, that's fair, sure. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, that makes yeah. sense, dude. It for the casual players, it's not like he's not used too often that no. well, but definitely in like the pros when we wa- get to watch that again. I can't wait for the next uh, season. Start he's gonna off, be like, banned go every time. Nationals. Yeah, he'll be banned yeah. often, probably. Oh, yeah. oh, dude, every time because he can for the entirety of Rainbow Six, you've never been able to fully block the upper. You know, you know how there's usually like a square. Upper hatch? Where you can bust through the ground yeah, and yeah, pop in. Yeah. Yeah. So if you reinforce that and then shoot a nomad, you can't get through there. Really? Or shoot a Cade shot, sorry. 
Yeah, because it electrifies, so thermite can't get through it or anything. What mm. about Ying's candelas, though? Isn't that the whole point of Ying? It's be, be able to cancel those out? What, if she, like, show, throws it in the room, you mean? Like, what do you... Oh. Doesn't she just have a flashbang? Isn't that... Is that all that is? It's just a flash? I thought it had some other effect, though, to kind of take that out. Oh, maybe. There's yeah. so many operators. But, but at, oh, there's so many, right? Yeah, but, there's a ton of them now. I don't know if... I don't think she's going to be able to do that, man. They, oh, you I'll can shoot check. it if, you know, someone's down below. Sure. But that's what like, I mean. Twitch. They're eliminating... Twitch can cancel that out. Yeah. Twitch, yeah. exactly. Dude, I was using Twitch the other day. It was priceless. <laughs> I got this guy three times. No! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm just like droning around. Like, ah! <laughs> it's so it's the laughing. worst when you're in the room and someone's like, there's a Twitch drone in here. And everybody's just like, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Friendly fire going like crazy. Yeah. So, but Cade, yeah, I think he's definitely a pretty cool you know, addition to the Rainbow Six family. Nomad, her too. She's good, man. I've gotten bit by her a couple times. Yeah. Because if you put yourself in a corner, she can just she'll flush you out no matter what. Well, I think that and that's the whole point of using Nomad, right? So she has this ability. She shoots the again almost like a sticky grenade, but then it blows up. But it doesn't kill you. It just knocks you down. No. But it blows you back or blows the other person wherever, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, it's time delayed too. Yeah. It's not like Ash where it's like toom. Boom! It's it's like five seconds kind oh, of. Okay. I think it, I kind of feel like it's almost it takes too long to set up. Yeah, because it gives the operator that you're trying to pin in there it's time to get the out of there ability to split. Oh, right? Okay. So that's my only thing. It's a matter. I think again, I'm becoming used to the abilities that she has, but I like they're cool. But yeah, high level plays, man. I'm anxious to yeah. see how that how and their versus, guns too. versus like us two morons trying to <laughs> pull this stuff off. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> But their guns, though, that's they have all really good guns. They both have yes. the same secondary pistol, and it's like a pistol with a scope on it. Yeah, that thing looked pretty it's nasty. Na- it is nasty. Crystal got lit up by one of those yesterday. <laughs> guy came right in, boom! She was just like, done. Really? <laughs> I was like, yeah, he got you good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then lastly, Fortress, the new map, too. That is that huge. huge. It's a big map. It yeah. is so it's cool, big. though. I actually, like... I've only played it probably five times in the entirety of playing it so far, but yeah, I'm still yeah. There's still lots to learn your ins and outs and on that map, but I find there's a ton of maps I actually don't really care for. But last night Crystal was playing on a bunch of good ones like Border <laughs> Chalet, oh like, like the original Oregon, yeah. yeah, right. Like those, I'm like, how come you're getting all these ones and I never get any of these maps when I'm <laughs> you're playing? getting favelas, oh. <laughs> theme park. Oh, Yo, yeah. yeah, no, I'm. I don't oh. even know where I'm going. I, yeah, favelas. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's a tough map to defend. So tough, man. Oh, defend. Maybe that's a tough map. But yeah. yeah, I want to look into some actual strats and kind of organize some stuff, man. It's so good. Well, when you get into it, it's you're into oh. it. Oh, I'm hooked. Like, you just I need can't. to get Randy Boy here. Hell yeah, yeah Rainbow Six. Hell yeah. Boxing Day, dude. It is so. We got a five man team got, right here. Yeah, yeah. That's so. Last night, Crystal's playing. Team kill, team kill, team kill. Uh, it's just you like, got to play ranked. You son of a. That's, that's what I mean. If we had a team, we could just hop in ranked and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, because then we wouldn't deal with that crap. It happens all the time, and <laughs> it's then brutal. she jumps in, and then the other team's killing them. I'm like, what? It's like at you... least fifty fifty, man. No, I, not I too just often. Don't get do it. you hop in a casual where it's someone's kids. not getting team killed? What? I'm sorry to say, it's it's children playing the game. That's well, why. There's adults doing that, then they've got bigger issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just the ultimate troll. I understand? <laughs> like, why waste the time if you're gonna do this? Why even play? But yeah, we kind of complain about this every week, so let's move, let's move on. <laughs> Team what else did man. you play? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I played some Mutant Zero. Yeah, man. Road to Eden. Yeah, that's on that's this a week's... really cool game. Man. Yeah, no, I... no spoilers, but we're we're reviewing that one this yeah. week. So, yeah. What's that on? It's Xbox, PS4, nice. PC. Yeah, yeah, the whole everything. Yeah, but it's anyways. It's kind of like uh, what is that game? I'm... XCOM. Yes. Meets its own thing because it kind can be of. stealthy, right? Oh, yeah. it's cool. They made their own little genre, and I'm looking right? forward they to took, seeing this one. They took yeah. that tactical turn-based um, fighting mechanic, but then give you the abilities to explore and grind out for like scraps, oh, okay. like scrap metal, yeah, gun parts and stuff like that. So well, that's cool. Yeah, it's... yeah I, I definitely enjoy it so far. So oh man, I'm I'm hooked. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Sweet. This week's review. Yeah. For sure. Oh yeah, super and cool. I don't think there's anything else though. I think that's pretty much all I played. Lots yeah. of rainbow and piranha. There you nice. go. Nice. Nice. What about you? Sea dog. Well, we all know what I've been at least playing. <laughs> <Fortnite>. Majority of. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite, Fortnite season seven. 
It's been great. Yeah. Lots of new additions. Uh, well, I'm sure we're going to get into that at some point in uh, the rest of the podcast here. So oh, I won't yeah, give too, sure. too much away, but it's been good. Rainbow with you guys last yes, week. That yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah, Played time. a few more rounds this uh, this weekend. Played a little, a couple rounds of Overwatch, actually. I can't, oh, I can't get enough of that game. Really, eh? I just, I, I, wanted, I, I wanted to try to Ash, the new character, right? So, okay. yeah, so I fired and? that up, and it was, she's great. She? Yeah, she's uh, her gun's nasty, man. It does a lot of damage. That's cool. Yeah, no, it's a, that's a great game. I still can't, I can't give it up. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like I don't. Nobody I know game. even plays the game, but I just it's still just a good game to throw on and play a couple rounds of. Well, hook me up. I got it. So yeah, we, it's, we got to do it. It's yeah, a fun game. All yeah, all three of us. You got it yet? I don't have it. No. Man, Randall, you're falling behind. Dude, my buddy <laughs> is in. Diamond. He's almost in master right now. Oh, wow. That's insane. No, that's a lot of playing. <laughs> yeah. that's, Dude, that's all he's doing is playing Overwatch. No, player. that's the thing. He just no, he doesn't work, so that's the thing. But Some with good reason. Lucky. There's a reason why he's not. But sure. you know, he's really good at smash. Yeah, he's good. Plat Overwatch. double triple platinum in Overwatch. <laughs> he doesn't need to work. He's, he's on top of the world. Uh, maybe one day, man. Oh, it, his clips are so fantastic, yeah. man. You're gonna get a couple maybe on the show. He actually was already. On yeah, the show. we got him once on the oh, show. Oh, was he on the show yeah. already? He wiped the team out. He, oh, I missed that him. one. Yeah. Uh, again. <laughs> you don't watch our show? No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I had enough of you, Drew. I just had to turn the TV off. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did I play? I didn't play too much, honestly. I was too busy this weekend with my kids and editing. There's a ton of editing to do. Holy crap. I did. So I was editing while Crystal played Rainbow. It was. Fun, this eh? is hard, man. She's like, I, uh, I'll shut up if I'm distracted. I'm like, you're not. Look out for that guy. Look out for this guy. Look out. I'm like, oh, me, you are. <laughs> Only <guy's> not to work. <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah, we played uh, Rainbow. I played some PUBG Mobile again. Man. Oh, boy. Me and Austin. You got- killed it last week, man. When we walked in before we started filming, <laughs> uh, you were sitting down. What was it? A 14 kill yeah, win? Uh, that was nasty. Kills. You. Dude, I love that. Flipping game, it is so good on the on, on the, the on your iPad. That game looked really good. <laughs> it was yeah. awesome. And I'm not a PUBG guy. Everybody knows that. I love PUBG. And it, it looked like mm-hmm. a, you were murking dudes. Well, I get wrecked on console, but I man, like Austin and I play second, and I just missed this guy from taking first. Like, oh. it, was, it was that close. I'm like, <laughs> oh, he's on the ground. Dude was on. He was on the bottom of the hill, and I came up over top, and yeah, I, got you. I just killed a guy off to the right, and he came over this way, and he got me. So it was it was me and Austin, and then two other guys. So we figured team, right? Well, one guy over here dies, not part of the team at all, and another random over there. Didn't see another random guy, and he got me. <laughs> so, yeah. Gotta love them battle royales. <clears throat> but yeah, I oh, love that yeah. game. So yeah, we played that. I played Fortnite. Yeah, on the Switch, and Coming that was the dark awful. side, Drew. That was an awful experience, man. <laughs> it's Do tough. Not play in handheld mode. But I forgot my pro controller, so I had no other choice. Austin had my computer, and I was on there, and I'm like, dude, I'm out. I cannot. You cannot yeah. aim with those Joy-Cons. It's tough. You can't aim with those it's things really whatsoever. Tough. But that plane is cool. The plane is awesome. That's so The is, plane is awesome, like, man. Really? Planes now? That's where we're heading? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. And everybody can ride on it? Your whole team can ride yeah, on I know. it with you. Austin's like, Dad, watch this. He jumps on the plane. He's So this guy came down at him. Shooting right, and all of a sudden, Austin hops on the plane and just blew. Just like shot the <laughs> he hijacked that's the plane. Awesome. Yeah, I saw ah, Ninja boy. hijack two back to back. So that's impressive because that's not an easy thing to do. <laughs> Actually, you know, Austin's on it and he shot the guy. I was like, Whoa, that's, that's awesome. awesome. What the heck? Awesome. Yeah, was, yeah, the planes funny. change. It's totally different <laughs> element in that game. Yeah. So besides that, I honestly didn't get a chance to play too much of anything else. Well, Siege. But we already went over. Yeah, that. yeah, we played Siege, of course, right? Yeah. But yeah, and I'm about to get back into Wildlands. Yeah, that mm. just drops some more DLC, man, and that's it. See, is I'm I'm gone, <laughs> man. More operators for the multiplayer, and then a whole section for single player content. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm in. That's a big update, huge update, and it's I almost say I want it's free. It is yeah, free. it is free. Yeah. It's a yeah. free content update. Yeah, it's like sweet. I I freaking adore that game. So yeah. Future Soldier content now in it, right? So yeah. I played. Hey, that's I your... played the shit out of that game. <laughs> Future Soldier multiplayer. My brother and I had a clan on there, and we would meet almost nightly. Oh, nice! Get on there. Oh, that's so. Sick. It was. You had three objectives to take against the other team. Man, we were so coordinated. Most times we we do pretty well, if not win the game. But yeah, it was. It's a blast. Is it was a PvP? 
Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it was so. I was hooked. Right? Ghost <laughs> Recon, man, I love that. Yeah. So it's, good. It's tight. Can't tell. We can't tell. I Drew. know. Yeah. I hide my emotions pretty well. <laughs> All right. Should we get on to the top of the show now? That we're twenty-five minutes into this thing. Sure. Yep. All right, everybody. If you did not know, the Video Game Awards was on the weekend. <laughs> I watched that. Actually, it was on Thursday last week. However, I watched it. I had a great time in it. Jeff Keighley killed it this year. I thought he did great. They had awesome announcements. And the games that were featured, I thought, were fair. But I kind of thought a couple might have been missing as well. But why don't we get into some of the announcements? Who's starting us off there, guys? Well, let me switch over here. Come on, boys. I was, I was looking at the Game of the Year stuff. <coughs> or not the Game of the Year stuff. The Video Game Award stuff. That's where we're at. Yeah, I know. I was just I was on the website. Yeah. Yeah. Another game coming to the Switch? Yeah, Samogo announces Sayonara Wild Hearts for the Switch. That looked interesting. It had a weird art style. Actually, the game just looked weird overall. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it really did. I didn't see it. You're riding a motorcycle, and then you're skateboarding, and then you're dancing. And I'm like, man, I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> it's been described as a euphoric music video dream about being awesome, riding motorcycles, skateboarding, dance, battling, shooting lasers, Wielding swords and breaking hearts at 200 miles per hour. I, got, I have one. I've got one question. What does the game come with the LSD, or do you have to get that set? <laughs> that sounds like a great. Like, what's that? What's the purpose? You should see the art style. Like, you you tripped out the entire game. That's like, crazy. This is, That's sweet. Oh man, like, <laughs> that's a very interesting take on a game. That sounds like something that the guys in my shop class back in high school were playing in their heads. <laughs> yeah. At their desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Epic launches their Steam competitor, right? Yeah. yeah. The Epic Store. I thought about time someone else stepped up. Yeah, it's been. And they're stepping up in a big way. No. Yeah. Huge way, yes. right? They've got some sweet titles, and again, they got Ashen, Super Meat Boy. Like, there's some pretty cool titles. Dark Siders Three, which isn't really doing all that well, let's be honest. I'll be interested to Dark know Siders, how many oh, Siders. Dark Siders. I'm thinking Dark Souls. How nope. many developers are gonna switch from Steam? To the Epic. Well, Epic maybe. is so big. Yeah. Right? Like, with Fortnite now, actually... So, Epic's always I think had a good given name. it's the ability to give more away. Exactly. Well, yeah. you said, like, last week on... The news. I guess it'd be... Yeah. Yeah. It, they only take... Um, they give 88% back yeah. to developers. Yeah. yeah. Right? Opposed Where, to the 70-30. Yeah. Exactly. A 70-30 split from Steam. Like, holy crap. That's a huge difference. So, if you're just a small indie guy, you obviously want to claim as much as you as can. As you can, well, yeah, right? You're, you're building a company, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, and Epic, because of, obviously, Fortnite and how well that's done and still doing and still killing it, right? Like, they have this ability and this have power, but honestly, so does Steam. Valve has the power to oh, do the same yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. They've got lots yeah. of money. I mean, right? they've been around for a while, right? So Yeah. No. I thought that was cool. You guys seen Ashen at all? No. We talked about it. Yeah. But, Ashen uh, is cool. I can't... <sighs> It's, so here's what here's a little blurb on that. Ashen has been in development for four years. Uh, it's been now on the it's on the Xbox One. It's on Xbox Game Pass, and it's made its way to the Epic Store. It is developed by a small team, if not just one guy. I can't quite remember. Okay. I want to say now he made a few games and then he's brought in his team. But it's a super cool art style. And it's one that's caught my eye like for a while. Yeah. So there's some everybody should just kind of if you got time check it out, Xbox and PC. That looks really cool. Yeah. Journey now is also coming to PC. I it's thought that was gonna be interesting. Isn't that a surprise? I've played it like previously, and it's actually if you've never played the game, it's there's not much action. Don't be looking for action no. playing this game. But the the art direction and the way they've done it is just incredible. Like for an indie title, it's worth checking out. Well, Genova Chen and his co- his company, that games company, is they com- they made a masterpiece, right? Oh the yeah. The game is literally like two hours long, but so many people have cried at the end of this game, mm-hmm. and you don't say a word in the entire thing. No, not a word. Not one word. Wow. You chirp. No. no. That is it. So if you haven't played Journey, man, you gotta play it. This thing is. It's worth the two hours. It's worth it is. two hours. It yeah. caught so much attention that it actually got a spot on um, Indie Game, the movie. Yeah. Oh, really? Guys. Yeah. It wow. won Game wow. of the Year for it did. several uh, big outlets kind of thing, right? That's so, cool. Darn. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Supergiant brings a new title, finally. Hades. Hades. And that had a cool comic book art style. 
I looked pretty sweet. That looks like a ton of fun. Is hmm. that, uh, when's that one supposed Is it out? Uh, I don't, yeah. Yeah, it's out on the Epic Game Store for 20 bucks. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that was cool. These guys made Transistor. That game was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that game was so good. And they just recently had uh, Pyre come out as well. Oh, yeah. So that one had a different take on it. A lot of people were kind of mixed a little bit on it. It did pretty well, but you got to, it was a weird title. But Super Giant's always a creative team, and they're cool to see what they come up with. And Hades, man, that game looks pretty fun. So, who's got? Ooh. How about uh, I saw the? How about uh, Far Out or Fall Cry? Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah. <laughs> what do so, you guys think of this? Oh, man, <laughs> I'm not I'm, a Far Cry guy, but I saw the the, the trailer he, for the game. Here's my thing: every like post-apocalyptic cyberpunky kind of thing. They're just like blasting you with pinks and blues and neons and. You've heard of just, Rage too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> hello. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like it's kind of getting old a little bit. It kind of is, know. but this has got the Far Cry spin on it. Man, I am interested. Really interested in this one. <laughs> I, I'm interested too. We'll have to see. I, five didn't really like draw me in though. That was the thing. Five had five. me right at the beginning, and I fell off just because the world became not that's huge. It's not huge, right? Oh. But it just kind of opened up enough, and I kind of got hit with other games to play for review and things like that. So I got busy doing other things. Just not able to get back to it and finish. And then, to top it off, if you didn't finish the game, they tell you how it ended on the Video Game Awards. Oh. Because this takes off exactly where that ended. And I was just like, huh. Whoops. Guess I don't need to finish that now, do I? (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Well, Drew, you have no time. They were just saving you some time. So the nuke that drops in this game... Is what, how the game ended, and then this is where this takes off. Is after the nuke. No, oh. I don't know, man. I'm just tired of games being coming out every year. Like I'm not gonna buy it. I will probably review it, which will be sweet. But <laughs> I don't know if I'd go and buy it though. Like there's just too many. I, I haven't know. even played four. Well, I tried four. I just the for, like the first opening action sequence is cool. Like you're on this bus, and then you like this camp gets stopped, and like. They kill a couple of guys that try running, and you're kind of like forced to be in like kind of like um like a hostage situation. Yeah. But then when you get when you get back to a certain point, which I don't want to say in case anybody hasn't played it, it just it gets so slow and boring. I was like, yeah, I couldn't get into that one as much no. either. That was primal. Primal was awesome. I a hundred percent of that game. I love well, that here's, game, man. So here's the advantage of primal because primal is Far Cry 4's map. Yeah. To a T. With a new skin. But the story and the way that whole game unfolds. Yeah, ooh, see, I didn't play was, four. Me either, so I it played, didn't bother me yeah. because I played like <laughs> 10 minutes to maybe an hour of four. So jumping into Primal, I was like, ooh, look at all this. And, all that. and everybody's like, it's the same map. I'm like, don't bother me at all. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't oh, have known. So cool. Man. Oh, it oh. is. Like that caveman feel. Yeah. Like, bring his Primal to too. car. He's one of my favorite protagonists. And it he doesn't so even cool. speak. Yeah, he, does. <laughs> he speaks gibberish. Yeah, more or less, right? But you ride around on these big cats and animals and things. But oh. It's so good. So I don't know, but Far Cry post-apocalyptic feel. Yeah, I I am excited because I do like I like those you know that style and genre or whatever. Sure, that time frame. But yeah, I just I don't know, man. I'm on the fence. I'm I'm definitely curious to see how it goes. But two females are your villains plus. The guy's back, right? Yeah. You see him right at the end of the trailer. So that's no Ooh. secret. But yeah. So I thought, whoa. Huh. That's interesting. Co-op? You think it's going to have co-op? Because he did last time. That's what I mean. Do you think they're going to do it again? Or are they going to pull a Unity where they're just like, no, no. Oh, man. They better not. <laughs> Far Cry. That just hurt Drew. Well, you can tell it hurts. Like, oh, <laughs> don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> I'm holding my Take chest now. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> no, they need to either make it. They either need to keep it co-op or bring four-person co-op. To Far Cry 5. That'd be cool. Yes. Right? Absolutely, man. Fix what Fallout didn't do. <laughs> and We don't freaking... have time. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> He's freaking out. He's no, freaking no. out. He's <laughs> peeking. That's all I had to say. Yeah, no, that makes Why sense. Why is the table shaking? <laughs> I'm excited about this next one because I saw the trailer for this one, too. All right, hit us up. The oh, yeah. Nintendo gets a Marvel exclusive, Marvel yes. Ultimate Alliance 3, uh, The Black Order. So we're so I'm watching the awards, right? And I'm watching this trailer unfold and I looked at Crystal and went, oh, It's Marvel Alliance. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, Oh, it is too. It looks so good. It looks oh, really yeah. good. It looks yes. like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh man, 
and it's exclusive. Yeah, on the Switch. That's what I was that's like, huge that's for Nintendo. Wow. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. real that's a, impressed. That's a good. Uh, that's a good title to reel in for Nintendo too. Yeah, and have exclusive rights to. Oh yeah, and the art style too. I think is going to fit the Switch so well. Yeah, right. It's not that high end, powerful graphics that everybody wants to see out of like a PS4 or an Xbox One, where you kind of get that. All right, Nintendo doesn't have that power horse, but yet. When it's polished, the games look fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And that's what you're going to get here. Yeah, that it's going to be a good awesome. game. Oh, I, I can't be a good wait, game. man. So we're sitting there watching it all of a sudden. Like, oh, look at this guy. That guy. And all of a sudden, Wolverine comes out, right? Whoosh, Chris goes, oh, Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it's like <laughs> sweet retro Wolverine. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, the so. yellow suit. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. it's so good. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's gonna be a good. Did one. you guys catch the uh, new Avengers movie trailer that just came out? Did no, don't, I don't didn't. watch it. I d- I'm not watching. Don't watch it because so, oh, you, yeah, no, you, you, yeah, you haven't seen the other movie. You haven't seen Infinity War. <laughs> it you will can't spoil watch the movie. It. Okay, for you. so I started right, and I'm like, "Hey, no, 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 no! I'm sorry. <laughs> shut it off. Shut it off." And I got like a minute, maybe a minute, or thirty. Tony seconds Stark, in. what are you doing? I'm like, uh, I don't know what's going you, on. You didn't this, hear anything. I kind of caught a couple things. Uh, I'm like, nope. Off it goes. Suck. So I mean, to be I'm, totally honest, you should have watched the movie already. So just get it shut done. Up. Get it I done. Know, the so so I went to Netflix. It's not on there no. anymore. No, it's not. They pulled it, it right? No, it was, it was never on. It was never on. Oh, was it never on? No, there? The, not the, the last oh, one. Anymore. The last one was. But they pulled that too. Yes, they did. Because Marvel's coming out with their own streaming service. So there goes Daredevil's <sighs> oh, next season. Really? It's going over there. That's where. That's what's I'm happening. Like, you oh. son of a bitch. Because I was looking to catch up on the rest of. Because I wanted to bring Crystal into Daredevil. Man, that series is awesome. So I went down. A buddy of mine's got a comic shop down here. Ner- Ner- Nerdvana Comics or something like that, right? Head down there. He's got a figure of Daredevil from the Marvel series. I picked it up. Nice. <laughs> Boom. Right beside all my other guys downstairs. It's nice. awesome. That's sweet. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh. It was a flipping series. The way season one ended and then two and then, th- oh. Yeah, no. Crap. It was a good series. Yeah, so good. Good show. Disney. But yeah, but now you got to pick it up over on the Marvel stream service. <laughs> Like, how many services do we need to pay for? This is where I'm starting to get frustrated because everything is a service now instead of just a platform. Yeah. Right? You don't own anything nowadays. No. no. And it's going to be interesting because, like, it's not... It's it's Disney. It's going to be all the Disney stuff, all the Fox, all the Marvel, all everything yeah. all on one platform, wow. right? So how many people do you think go from Netflix to that, Randall? It's hard to say. I don't think you lose... I don't think Netflix loses people because of it. I think Mar- Marvel just gains them. Oh, you think so? I don't yeah, know. Like I'm not, I'm, I still both. watch things on Netflix, so yeah, I'm not just true. it's not the only just Marvel movies, which I always thought was, was great because they had such a good selection it's of them nice on bonus, there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, then now that they're gonna do that, it's uh, yeah, maybe that's crap. I don't like I, that. I, I, I'm with <laughs> you. Not a fan. Yeah, no. yeah I hear you. Oh, that's, but I'll probably get it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I could watch Robin Hood at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie, Robin Sword in the Stone. Yeah, man, yeah, those yeah. classics. Oh, I love those. Movies. Damn it, I'm sold. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're in. I know, right? We're gonna get it anyways. Just so. hey, this one's got you all over it. All right, so Obsidian Entertainment finally showed their new game. Yeah, what do you think of Outer Worlds? Uh, I'm excited, man. It is. So the minute I watched, it, I'm like, this Bioshock. And Fallout Wait, together, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Bioshock and Fallout kind of made a baby. Boom! It's Outer Worlds, and it's out in space, and See, it looks you're, cool. You're a space guy, though, right? Yeah, I like sci-fi. Yeah, I don't know what I like better, fantasy sci-fi. I don't know. Mm, it's tough. That's why you get both. Yeah, there you go. mix them both, and but at any rate, this new game looks really cool. It looks a lot like if looks like it feels if that makes sense, like Fallout, you know, uh, New Vegas. Okay. With the cross of Bioshock, like you said, like, yeah. I don't know. It's uh, it looks really cool. It looked interesting. I want to give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think it's too bad that it's not exclusive to Xbox. Though. Yeah, I thought for sure because Xbox bought Obsidian. That yeah, it, that it would be. But obviously, Obsidian's been working on this for a while, right? And probably have already everything lined up. Yeah, the maybe it wasn't part to, of the contract to go. Yeah, right. But the next one, it's got to be, be an Xbox be exclusive. exclusive. Yeah, That's why Xbox they brought them PC, there, right? Yeah, because Microsoft needs their home games. Yeah, they can't like letting everything go to Sony. The as Switch well. is getting an exclusive. We need some more Xbox ones. <sighs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I I think uh, I don't necessarily think Bethesda needs to worry per se, but 
I don't know. A lot of people are really stoked about this. That's because so. everyone's still pissed off about Fallout 76. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, dude, this game, the coolest thing is the decision-making in this game. You, there's, like, so many decisions you make, and it completely just alters everything all Which the time. Which is the best mm, thing about yes. video games, right? Yeah. When it's done properly, your decisions matter. If yeah. they don't matter, then why am I picking this choice yeah, anyway? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm going to shoot him. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what's going to happen. There's like a part, I, don't, I think it's in the trailer or it was in the gameplay trailer. There's this guy who's just like, you have to make a decision because like, I guess some decisions are timed. Yeah, of course. So are. he has a gun and he's like pointed at two people yeah. and then he shoots one and then it pans out. He's like, oh, yeah. Uh, you didn't need to shoot anyone, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did see that. And I was like, man, yeah, I'd be shooting somebody every time. Because I'm like, well, I'm not going to let it run out. i got to pick somebody. Well, they come no. back and get me. Yeah. <laughs> you! <laughs> oh, it just, they actually, they even kind of have a VATS kind of thing they that do, they're right? doing. I uh, I think they're going to just nail this game. Man. I hope so, anyway. That's cool. I'm always a little bit skeptical, but I don't know. Obsidian has a really good track record. They made mm. it look pretty good. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm excited. Randall, did you play No Man's Sky? I did not. You did not play No Man's Sky. So No Man Disaster. No Man's Lie? <clears throat> no Man's Lie had a big issue when it first <laughs> dropped, right? But Hello Games has made one comeback after another with free content, free updates, and a bunch of changes to the, pa- to the fact where No Man's Sky is almost like a completely new game now. Different game than it was. When oh, it was absolutely released. different. Where it has now made a fan following and revitalized that. But to see what they came out with, the Last Campfire is a shocking... So I'm sitting there watching... Battle Royale, sorry. No. <laughs> so, 100 people. I was, just, I was blown away. So this trailer starts playing, and it's unfolding, and it's got this really cool art style. I was like, I'm in. It had me on the art style alone. And there's this little character, and it, it almost kind of reminded me of the character from Journey, mm, the mm-hmm. outfit that it was in, and yeah. it was traveling through the world and stuff like that, right? And it looked like it had to had this crafting and exploration gameplay to it, and then the art style, and then all of a sudden Hello Games came up, and I'm like, holy shit, really? Hmm. I was shocked, because they've had so many issues yeah. with No Man's Sky. A lot of people figured they were done. They I were wonder gone. if this was their, here, we're going to scale things way back, do a small title, pump it out, hopefully it does well, and we can kind of get back on their feet. Yeah. But No Man's Sky, I think, is at a place now where it has helped them to get back to where they're yeah, man. should have been. When so, they released it on Xbox them. and then had co-op, like that's those are huge steps yeah. big time. for those guys. Change, well, it changes the game, right? So that's it's a big deal. No well, Man's Sky shouldn't have launched when it did, first off, because it wasn't finished. ton of promises, all broken. Yep. Right? And now where it is today, I don't necessarily feel that they should have waited until now to launch it, but obviously not when they did at the time. Maybe another year after would have been worth it. Yeah. So, but hey, you know what? Good, good on Hello Games because yeah. they seem to be crushing it now. And the Last Campfire has my attention. I, I'm looking forward to this. Check one. it out. Yeah, it looks really cool. And then good old Ed Boone comes out on stage and goes, "I'm here to announce the sports." I'm like, "Sports? What are you doing?" And then Mortal Kombat comes uh, up, and I was like, "Whoa, oh, man!" Oh. oh, so Raiden is on screen fighting Scorpion. That was a cool scene. Wow. <laughs> Raiden is all red, though. You see his yeah. eyes? Yeah, I was yeah. like, whoa, you possessed? Wait, wait. Did, like, you, Gone, did you beat Mortal Kombat 10? Yeah. But it's been a long time. Okay, well... I... No, no, can go I ahead. Spoil- no, you're not spoiling. Spoil- warning, warning, ah. warning, 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 warning. We're about spoiler to get into alert. Mortal Kombat X spoiler. So if you haven't beat this game from like three years ago, tough shit. <laughs> it just dropped on Xbox Game Pass, though, so... Hey, there you and go. That sucks because I just bought the whole thing on PS4. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, damn it. it. I wanted the other characters I didn't have. Next oh. thing I know, I'm like, oh, crap. No, well, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, at, the, at, the end of, at the end of Mortal Kombat 10, <laughs> Welcome all, to most of the good guys are like you know, Luke Kang and a bunch yes. of them. They're all possessed and yeah. basically, I don't know. The dark side, right? That's <laughs> consumed them. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's why Rain's all evil, and I think I Scorpion's actually. He looked turn two though, didn't he? Or did he go good? I think that was just showing off different skins. I think well, did you see right? Because it was one scorpion and then another scorpion. I was yeah. Like, oh man. I think they're gonna do the uh, what they did with Injustice, where you pick different pieces of armor. You can do that and with customize. Oh, customize yeah, you can kind of customize your like, yeah. yeah. That look pretty crazy. Like I'm not even a huge Mortal Kombat fan, but right. if I play a fighting game, I, that's the game I would I would choose to play. It's just fun because it's X-ray. just I played it when I was a kid, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, it did look pretty sweet. I forgot. We played that on the weekend, me and Austin. And I played oh, Sub-Zero, nice. and then I fatalied him right in a bunch of frozen spikes. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, it was awesome. I want the Whoopi guy to come back. Uh, the guy at Whoopi! Oh, Whoopi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Oh, uh, yeah, so that'll be a good one to look out for. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm pumped for that. Mm. New Dragon Age is on its way. Yeah. Does anybody get into the Dragon Age series at all? No, and it was it was a free game for a while, wasn't it? Dragon Age Inquisition. I Inquisition for a little bit, yeah. yeah. It, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite game by any means, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. I just found like from the tutorial it was really hard to kind of get through because it was so dry. Yes. And I tried playing the game for a little bit. I was like, eh. But you have other people that like rant and rave and say it's like the best thing ever. So. Well, yeah, a lot of people love the series, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah, I played the first one. I, I didn't beat it <coughs> and annoyed with myself that I never did. But oh, really? I got really far into the game. Mm. Like, really far. And I actually loved it, man. The first one was sweet. See, I couldn't get in the first one. I tried playing that first one. I would probably three hours. I'm like, ah, I just can't get any nope. further. But did you play it like shortly after? After launch, or did you play it years later? Kind no, of? I think it was years later. Yeah, see, it's kind of hard to. Yeah. Some games, it's they don't age well, right? right? No. So, mm-hmm. but anyways, Inquisition. I ran into the same issue as Randall. I played it and I tried because yep. the trailers look sick and yeah. the, like the cutscenes are pretty good, but it's just just wasn't that that next level. But yeah. No. Anyways, I'm excited to see it though because oh yeah, I think Dragon Age Four could be sweet. Mm-hmm. Co-op, please. <laughs> the Joker from Persona 5 is hey. coming to Smash Brothers. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if that really means anything to anybody because it didn't really mean much to me. But a lot of people seem pretty hyped about it. Yeah, this they're one. excited about it. Yeah. Mm. So, Corey, I think we skipped one there, buddy. Which one? Oh, oh I didn't even know that. <laughs> I, what I, you that one. I did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Yes. <laughs> so, this is really cool. Yeah. So everybody that was watching the Video Game Awards were told to stay by Fortnite. Yeah. Right? And anybody in Fortnite at the, at the time uh, in Risky Reels, the block just drops in the middle of the game in the middle of the Video Game Awards. Yeah. Which sucks because I love Risky Reels. That was one of my Me favorite too. places. So in two days, like I, everybody hates Flush Factory, but... I land a flush factory all oh, the time. I like flush. And then risky reels I landed all the time. I'm yep. like, take out junk junction. Yeah. But they dropped it at risky and like no one really knew what the heck was going on, right? It's like no. it's just like a big concrete pad. Yeah. And it says the block on both ends. And you're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and this was shortly after after the season seven update, they released the creative mode. Yes. Which allows people to get four pre made maps blank maps that essentially you get to build and put whatever you want on like you get full creation tools when it comes to materials and weapon drops and physics and everything like that to control and you can make your own little mini games and stuff like that yeah. so epic's gonna take the some of the better submissions from my understanding of this yep. and put it in that section of the map how freaking cool is that so that if you so cool. are a good creator of any sort within Fortnite, and epic catches word and whatever, you are not only hearing this from Epic, but you are then being featured in one of the biggest video games of all time. I know. It's I guarantee crazy. you that'll land some people some jobs. Yeah. Different places. I'm so right? excited to see what people come up with. Like, even before they oh. announced the whole block thing, just when they announced the creative mode thing, I'm like, it's going to be so cool to see. I, the first thing I said to my buddy was saying, I hope they allow people to share designs like i don't know okay, the game i, I could yeah, the sure. game i could think of and relate to you guys i don't know if you played it was like ea series of skate like the skateboard game yeah um and you used to be able to make, make your own park your own uh, skate park and then you could yep. share it on an online community and people could play your parks and that kind of thing so i was hoping they do something like that so maybe with this fortnite will also allow that but even if they don't them featuring people's designs oh, for i don't know if it's gonna be for a week or whatever the case may be yeah. that'll be cool i think little big planet did this really well yeah where they would all whoever made their own level mm. could get featured by everybody and then get boosted yeah. to the top and then you can mm. download that level and play that level and then share that level and that's man, sweet this right? is gonna be yeah. yeah it's gonna be really cool to see what people come up with yeah. so yeah not only is everybody jumping out of the battle bus in 
the world of Fortnite, but then they can also go over to your section on the block, play that, and then bugger off and shoot the rest of everybody else. <laughs> like, how cool. It's so yeah. good. Imagine, imagine playing your own level, and you just have such an advantage on all these, <laughs> all these people that are like, what is going on yeah. in here? Yep. That's, that's it's cool. Gonna, it'll be, I'm interested to see how much of that space it takes up, because the, in the creative mode, which actually I got quite a bit of hands-on this weekend playing it, there's some so many cool things. You can have up to 16 people on one island. Yeah, yeah. They just have to join in. Like you, you have to be all your epic friends or whatever sure. that kind of deal. But it's like to be able to support that. Like we were just playing four on four, like one v one v one, and yeah. like we got. So you can if you double tap a, you can just like float. Okay. And it's it before there's like a mini game mode that you can activate, but this is just us kind of messing around building stuff. Yeah. So my buddy's flying a plane, just kind of messing with everybody's builds that we're doing. <laughs> so I just double tap A and I just flew in the sky and chased him. <laughs> and he's flying in a plane. I'm shooting rockets at him from behind him. I'm going almost just as fast as him. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> like it's childish, but this is awesome. <laughs> so I'm ex I'm excited to see where they get with us. Yeah. I like, thought it was really cool, man. I can't wait to see what the community builds. That's a huge because, step for this mm. game. It, oh, yeah. it's, it's kind of game changing to be honest because not only is Fortnite massive and they're always updating the map then they bring in the whole snow island the whole they, the whole bottom in. left quarter of the yep. map is totally different now yeah it's an entirely different well, it, space it shifted in right yeah it crushed in it was just like, and it's cool because you see some of the so old well. buildings uh all buried in snow so you'd only see like the roofs of some of like flush factory you can just see the roof of flush factory and then the, yeah the factory's just uh you know just past flush factory that like half of them are still there the rest of them have been completely covered in snow oh, it's and, yeah it's, it's sweet and they got zip lines too yeah so you're zip lining okay i got a problem with the zip lines <laughs> so when you go on a zip line it's gravity fed you go down a zip line. No, you can go up it. I know, and that's my problem because you should not be able to go uh, up a zip line. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a mechanical one. It is. It is I know what you're saying because I was, I was like, can I go back up this thing? And I was like, oh, it takes you to the top of the mountain. I'm Man. like, that's sweet. Yeah. Sweet, there's a plane. Cool. <laughs> what a game. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I can't wait to see what people do with the block. Yeah, it's going to uh, be fun. I'm, I'm hoping they start releasing those sooner than later. I guess they got to let some people really get into this creative mode first. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot. It's in, yeah, You get involved in it. But anyways. Uh, yeah. All right, why don't we get on? Man, oh, yeah. we're running late. <laughs> we're definitely yeah. running late. So, okay, we're going to make this quick. The big ones. Let's do the big yeah. ones. Yeah. All right, so winners for the Video Game Awards. The biggest one, the game of the year. This one, I was nervous because as much as I like Red Dead, I sure didn't really want them to win. Believe it or not, I didn't want Rockstar to take it with God of War and Spider-Man and Assassin's Creed being there. There's a lot of good games there. A lot of great games, right? But yeah, the winner is... Sea of Thieves. <laughs> God of War took it. And I thought, you know, a great onset. That's fair. That was, yeah, what a great choice. That was well-deserved, right? I think so. Corey Barlog and his whole team over there did a fantastic job. That was nice to see. Best ongoing game? Fortnite. Mm. Fortnite. Like, what do you and expect? It, you right? know what? It's not like Overwatch, Rainbow Six, Destiny 2. Like, they're all great ongoing games. Yeah. You just, yeah, they do it every week. They change that game every week, whether it be minor, whether it be major. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody knew they were going to take it. Yeah. That's tough not to. Yeah. Oh yeah, you nobody's do nobody's it. putting in the amount of work that Epic's putting in into this game. Well, that's it. You have to keep it like enticing and keep yeah. people coming. This back, free right? to play game. Well, yeah, that's the biggest thing too, right? It's all free. <clears throat> like you don't have to pay for anything to enjoy that game. No, no. As much as anybody that pays for skins and all that stuff, right? But I want to you... dance cool. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, I got the fart umbrella, man, or the fart <laughs> balloon. You know, he squeezes the balloon and then he's. Ooh. <laughs> that's good. That's so cool, man. So yeah, no, I'm the, I think okay, pay it makes it better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Best game direction, again back to God of War. Yep, oh, that was cool. Good for them. Best narrative, Red Dead Redemption Two. I that's surprising. Man, one. really? That surprised me too. I yeah. did not see that. Best game direction, I could have seen them taking that one. Yeah, yeah. I thought for sure maybe God of War. I'm like I'm not. I think they to need play. to switch those, flip those two around. Best narrative. I, I vote. I demand a recount. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there and went bullshit. Yeah. Chris kind of looks at me. Even she was like, "Wow, really?" Like, we Surprising. Were just shocked to see that one. Yeah. Best art direction. Did you see this? I've never even heard of this Return game. Return of Obra Obra Din. Din. And when we did the, when we first talked about these, we were all just like, nobody knows what this is. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we surprised. Che I, I checked out the trailer. It's got a unique art direction, that's for sure. So I can maybe see why it won, but 
I don't know, man, over Red Dead or even Oct- Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler, I looked into after we did that uh, yeah. discussion on that podcast, and it looked like it was a cool looking game. That's good art direction. Yeah, right? like I think I think Red Dead <clears throat> should have taken that. Red Dead, mm-hmm. it's over God of War, man. But man, to see Return of Mobra Den, I was like, oh, uh, no, oh, okay. Best good for score, them. music. Yeah. Red Dead. Back to Red Dead Redemption Two again. Yeah. It's pretty good music, man. It is. A lot of the songs that they have are perfect. Yeah, and then they did the whole concert too on on uh, the Game Awards. That was pretty, pretty sweet. Good. Oh, yeah, it was cool. But I'm like, man, I don't. Know, it was just it was different to watch it on there than have it in the game, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was it was cool. Best audio design, Red Dead Redemption Two. Like it's just here we go. Best Bigger performance, machine. Roger Clark because for Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan for Red hey, Dead I was, uh, I was stunned when he came out on stage and he had an accent. Like I yeah. was kind of expecting somebody from Texas maybe to do that <laughs> role, but no, he's like kind of like English or something. I don't know. He had some sort of accent, very faint, but yeah. yeah. I thought honestly, I thought Christopher would have taken that with God of War. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. I don't know, Arthur Morgan, man. I think he I think he took it. Well, well he did take he's it. He's a bad it. man. <laughs> he did. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Games for Impact. I thought that's a unique title, right? Celeste. That's cool. Well, that was good for them. Best mm-hmm. independent game. Celeste. Celeste. Celeste that was again. nice to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were. They were. People were hyping this game pretty good, though. Yeah. So. Oh I, man, it's, it's a good one. Yeah. Yep. Best mobile game. Florence. What I'm is what shocked. is Florence? It's a text adventure game. Oh wow! Yeah, good on them because everybody loves Florence. So to see them Sweet. win. Oh, that was cool. Donut County with uh, Ben and his team over there. It was, well, I say his team is really just him. Ben <laughs> at Donut County. So that comes up, and Chris is like, "What is that? The Donut County is you try to suck everything into a hole, like the donut, right? And you're, yeah, it's, it's kind of like um, was that Katamari? Yeah, you know, yeah, Katamari to yeah. You're just yeah. rolling the ball around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're a hole, and you're trying to get just like a black hole yeah. taking everything. <laughs> it was cool, but to see Florence, I thought, really, is Fortnite going to take this one too? Nah. Nah, they didn't. I'm like, oh, Florence, yeah! yeah that's cool. <laughs> uh, there's my PUBG, though. Uh, anyways, best <laughs> VR, Astrobot. I said, yes! Yeah, yeah. I was pumped for that, man. That's good. Japan Studio nailed it. That game was so good. But again, yeah, Moss, Firewall, Zero Hour, and Beat Saber. Tetris Effects, so I was like, yeah. Best action game, Dead Cells. Nah, that's cool. Best action adventure game, God of War God again, of War, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. That deserves that. Pretty good theme. Best role playing game, Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter World. Yeah, I, th- I think it deserves it. It needed to win an award because that right? game was actually <laughs> phenomenal, and it's, I mean, it still is. It's well, just gotten better. Well, it has gotten better over time. The biggest problem was is that it launched so long ago, Chan- like what January seventeenth or something exactly, like early right? January. So the beginning of the new year, this game launches, and it's kind of like holy crap, man. You forget about all the other games that come before what we're playing right now. That's the problem. When you get to these awards, it's like, oh, yeah, you know what? Monster Hunter was this year. Yeah. It's like, wow. Forza Horizon 4 was, oh, yeah, that was this year, too. And that was only a couple months ago. Like, it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. There's so many games that drop you forget about them. every week. Yeah. They yeah. keep up on all these, right? So I thought that was cool. Yeah, good for them. Best family game? Yeah. It- Overcooked! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. Wash the dishes! Wash the dishes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need a plate! I need a plate! Yeah. Great Still game. Still a family game, man. That's like... Yeah. That's like that's family like 12 up. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. You suck! Where's the pickles? Pass the <laughs> cucumber over I here. I broke my family up because I screamed at my seven-year-old <laughs> oh, sister. Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Chop the tomatoes! <laughs> <laughs> Best strategy game? Into the Breach. Yeah. I was surprised by that one. Oh, you, sk- you skipped one, by the way. Oh, Best uh, fighting game. Oh, how dare I? Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Ah, that was anticipated. Mm-hmm. A lot of people wanted that. I think wanted that game to win, but a lot yeah. of people were excited when that game came out. But I mean, like Soul they Calibur were. 6. Soul Calibur 6. Street, Street Fighter 5. Maybe. Yeah. Right? But Dragon Ball's got such a yeah. huge following. It's awesome. Best sports slash racing game. Forza, 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 yeah, Forza Horizon Four Playground Games. Good job, good on them. Best multiplayer game, Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> Not surprised. Yeah. Best student game, Combat Twenty Eighteen. Don't know what that is. Nope. <laughs> good for them though. Yep. It's a, it's a, it's yeah. a game made by students. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Oh. Best debut indie game, The Messenger. The Messenger kind of reminds me of Ninja Gaiden way back in the day. Cool. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah, for sure. Best esports game. 
So our options were Counter Strike, Global Offensive, Dota, Dota Two, Fortnite, League of League Legends. Legends, and Overwatch. Overwatch took it. I think mm. they deserved it. I think man. that that Can we watch the final? World Champs. It's in a like they have their own stadium, <laughs> man. I know. They gotta win it. Like it's the, so good. The energy was overwhelming through a computer screen. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was getting excited. Yeah. The way they call those matches, it's like you're watching a professional sport. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Best esports player, Sonic Fox. Fox. And he had quite the speech. <laughs> I'll leave it at he that. It was so awkward. It was hilarious. Man, it was <laughs> We have to remember so these, all these guys do are, is play video games. Yeah. <laughs> they're not, you know, they're not always the most social people. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. But Real man, life. he can rack players. Oh, when it comes yeah. to anything, <laughs> well, it's just it doesn't matter what it is, right? Injustice, Street Fighter, Dragon Ball, yeah. Mortal Kombat, the dude is just a beast. That's for sure. Best esports team, Cloud Nine wins it again. Yeah. So, esports coach, esports event, esports host, like, yeah, all this stuff. Content. The content creator of the year, Doctor Lupo, Myth, Ninja, Pokimane, and Willy Rex. Ninja, ninja takes yeah, it he took it right. I honestly, how can you not give it to Ninja? Yeah, yeah. give like, credit to all these people that are up here though. Because absolutely, they're they all do a great job. But it's, I mean, how do you compete with the first Red Bull esports athlete? Well, that's just it. But if you notice, they're all Fortnite players. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so if surprised. it wasn't for Fortnite, what do they have? Yeah, I mean. It's true. It's no. it is, is there, true. No one else playing anything else to be on here. <laughs> it doesn't matter what everybody else is playing. It really every, doesn't because all these people have watching Fortnite. Fortnite, yeah, it's so crazy. Good on them to build the audience around one single <laughs> game. Yeah. But that you know, Epic Games game is loving that is, just to see those names on that list. Oh yeah, no. But yeah, I was super excited to see Ninja take it. So and yes, he's still alive. Yeah. Wait, was there a... There was a death hoax, yeah. Oh. Oh, of course. Oh. Right? <laughs> what a... His heart exploded from all that Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> all right, gents. I think that is it for episode eight. This is our last episode of the year. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Man, yeah. how fast did this go to oh. get to the... Hey, what are we, eight? Eight episodes, eight? Eight episodes eight. in already. Yeah. Crazy, man. It's crazy. Just like that, it's over, though. That's it. We're done. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Peace. We'll be back in January. Yeah. January 14th is when we're coming back. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> so uh, I'm just filling these in now. I was, nice. I was talking uh, to our producer. So, right yeah. on. Cool. Yes. So That's we great. have a three-week window. Nice. We've got, well, kind of three weeks. Not quite for us, boys. Mm. No. But eh. Three weeks. Some time until off. We're, until we're back on, well the, deserved. Uh, on the air yep. kind of thing, right? So it's been an, a good run so far. A ton of fun. ton of Problem solving, we'll call it. Troubleshooting. <laughs> Trouble, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing things. Yeah. But yeah, it's been interesting. Definitely look for us on all your patio. Pa- patio. <laughs> patio uh, cast. I said the show is over, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the game cast. Look for us on all your podcast services around the globe. That's Corey. That's Nate. Randall. Drew. And the man behind the camera, as always, is Steve. Don't forget to hit yeah. us up. Inside Tasty. the game.ca. And we will see you in the new year. See ya.